Hey everybody, this is Shelby from Chicago Music Exchange and I'm incredibly excited to have Philippe from Caroline Guitar Companies to talk about their new fuzz pedal. The... Shikaharu. What does that mean? Uh, it's the name of Colombia's fourth most acclaimed waiter. Okay. He ranked fourth in the city poll. <laughs> that's for real. That's for real. What? That's a real thing. Yes. I thought you were just bullshitting me. Okay, no, sorry. he ranked fourth in the city in the city's poll of best waiter. In Wait, we need to talk about this for a second. Yes. You named a pedal after the fourth best waiter. Yes. What happened to the top three? I don't care. He works at his family sushi restaurant. Awesome. I really anticipated it having a deeper meaning than that. No, he's awesome. Okay. The pedal's awesome. Well, the Shigaharu is a multi-stage fuzz based on some of the design elements of 1970s classics like jumbo tone benders and, and uh, big muffs of the like. But where we'd made some key differences was in the staging of the game. So the outer two stages are done with op amps for better input impedance, clarity and performance, as well as responsiveness. While the middle two stages, which are providing the clipping, are still done with BC184 transistors. This gives the pedal a lot of heft, all of the gain and singing sustain that you like, but allows it to sit better in the mix and gives you better response to your volume control, as well as makes it a better pedal board citizen. And uh, what about some of these beautiful uh, drawings on the front here? So our iconography goes like this. This is the drive. It, come, it is the drive from the integrated circuit amplifier in the first gain stage that feeds the clipping stages. This is the body control. It affects how much bass and mid-range content is in the pedal. This is our tone control, which flips things. It has two filters that either brighten or darken the tone. And this is speakers for the overall volume. The center control is the Havoc. And in this pedal, the Havoc is a parallel octave fuzz circuit in tandem with the main circuit as well. So you can blend in how much of the octaving is activated by the Havoc switch here. So let's talk about some like, good standard settings to run through the different ideations of what this pedal can do. Obviously, we're like Unity here, but yep. uh, show, me, show me some stuff. Sure. Uh, if you back the drive down from the op amp, and then you increase the body a little bit, back the tone down a bit, and leave the volume around Unity, it sounds a lot like a classic overdrive getting cranked up. Cool. Let's check it out. Sweet. Pretty fun. Now, here is kind of something we think is nice. It's just a little bit off the gain, uh, right around Unity. Tone pretty flat, the body back down just a little bit. And here it's almost like a crunchy crank damp. For kind of the classic fuzz that people expect out of these circuits, back the body down a little bit. Keep the tone around where it is, but crank the gain up. Maybe adjust a little bit off of the volume for unity. Go up. And for some fun with the Havoc control, you go pretty much everything at unity and then activate the octaves as you like. Wow. Yeah. Another thing that you were saying that I think is really awesome about this pedal is that even if you have this cranked up, right, and we're pulling the volume back a little bit, mm -hmm. if you roll your volume back on your guitar, it still cleans up pretty nicely. Correct. Yeah. Cool. That, that's a massive difference between yep. full bore. So yep. it, it's, it's nice to have a pedal that's reacting to what you're putting into it. So. Absolutely. The work that John Snyder and I did on this uh, was mainly focused on getting that clarity and that kind of responsiveness. And by using the op amps for the outer two stages, it allowed us to then uh, tailor it so that those responses, those volume control changes, those changes in picking dynamics, the bigger, wider chord voicings and things, none of that gets lost. So you can roll your volume back and play pretty cleanly and it still snaps and punches and then you, you go full bore and it's just 
pouring molten gravy out of your amplifier. Uh, so there are two additional features on the inside of this pedal that are also really fun. One is a gate slash bias control, which if turned clockwise will allow the pedal to sound broken and really messed up in a cool Velcro-y fuzz kind of way. So for people who are fuzz fanatics who want something different than these classic voiced ones, this thing can sound really out there. The second feature is a lock feature that locks the octaving fuzz features on all the time and converts this switch to a kill switch. So if you wanted it to be an octave fuzz on all the time, you can simply activate that toggle and then use this as a kill. Well, let's check it out and see how it sounds. <laughs> 